capital markets were clearly being eroded. Risk pricing beyond the rate cap regime. Yeah, we do a lot of modeling of our business and of our customers and the risks that, we, um, that we're willing to take. In the next edition of Business Redefined, we host the Chief Executive Officer of APSA Bank for this and more. I'm not going to allow Roberta to marry him when she hasn't been honest. When she hid from him things as important as her involvement with Rafael. And also, she has done everything possible to ruin me. Could it be that he cheated on you because you could never give him a son? Maybe I can do that and we can raise him together. Please, I'm begging you to take me to the hospital. Oh sure, I'm going to take you to a hospital. <laughs> of course I will, but tomorrow. Now if you don't want your future husband to call off the wedding at once, you and I have to fix this small problem. Is that clear? Timeless love. Gift your loved one a plot of value-added land at the Garden of Joy and get an instant 14K cash voucher for a 500K plus deposit. Call us today on 0790-300-300. This is NTV. Good evening and welcome back for those of you who were with us earlier on before the news and if you've just started watching the well, world welcome this is the magical Kenya signature experiences as we unveil the 2021-2022 collection my name is Amina Abdi Rabah who is your host I'm not doing this alone in studio I am honored by the presence of the peers for tourism um, uh, Honorable Safina Kwekwetsungu and we also have Dr. Ben Betty Radier, and she is the CEO of KTB. Now, I have talked a lot about how this country is filled with pockets of paradise, destinations that we didn't even know existed. Well, most of us, until tonight, until today, I have seen so many different spots, so many different places, so many different adventures that I would love to try out that now I have put part of my bucket list 2021. Now, earlier in the day, the 2021-2022 magic Kenya Signature Experience was unveiled by the Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife Honorable Najib Balala as you can see there on the screen. Now I know um, I can see the PS was in attendance and of course Dr. Betty as well and I'd like for you to touch on the why it was necessary for us to have um, a physical event but right after we take a look at what went down and happened earlier today. Take a look. Now that is a beautiful event. Let me start with Dr. Betty. Why was there a need for us to have, you know, the event? Um, and I also noticed that there were trophies that were being handed out. So I want us to clarify um, what that trophy represents and what mm -hmm. it signifies. Um, so Dr. Betty. Uh, thank you. Um, I think it was important for us to have the event uh, because, um, as we had mentioned earlier, the private sector is a key pillar in the Magical Kenya Signature Experiences. And the private sector invests significantly in us being able to first of all identify these experiences, but more importantly, they are the custodians of the experience. So it's important for us to honor them. And therefore we had um, uh, an, a small event for them this morning, obviously adhering to the COVID protocols, um, to honor them with the, the reward of the, um, of, of the small bronze uh, pole. Now the significance of it is, is, is around uh, what we have come to know as uh, the king of the jungle. And that signifies how we see these magical Kenya signature experiences because these are people that are enabling us to be the king of the jungle, so to speak, as a destination. So I think it's important that um, we acknowledge that uh, the private sector is a key pillar in the success of the magical Kenya signature experience. And therefore, just to say thank you uh, to them for the effort that they have put behind uh, going through all of the uh, audits and also going through the vetting so that they could become uh, part of the 2021-2022 uh, collection. That was the least that we could have done for them. Yes. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the private sector, and I'd like the PS, um, Honorable Safina, to take this. What exactly does the Magical Kenya Signature Experiences Program contribute, um, you know, to the private sector? Well, uh, one is that uh, it allows for peer-to-peer -peer interaction. 
uh, and learning from each other mm -hmm. because uh, then uh, uh, experiences, for example, you've noticed that uh, Watamu alone had about uh, five experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, all of them coming from the same geographic uh, area, but all each one of them giving, uh, I mean, uh, offering a unique experience. So there's a, a lot of learning that they get from each other, but most importantly, also you saw they get the time, you know, to to dialogue with policymakers and. Uh, you know, put forth what they feel can be done to make uh, this industry better, uh, because it's, it's, this is an industry that is purely private sector driven, uh, and uh, it also offers us an experience um, for, for those of us who are not probably practitioners in the industry itself to appreciate uh, the gems. So those uh, who probably have an incl uh, inclination to as a cost would understand what, uh, for example, uh, Marsabit has to offer. Uh, what Rukana has to offer, what uh, Ligori has to offer. So it's really a learning experience uh, by and large. Yes, and mm. I do have to tell you there's a lot to do in Marsabit. My people of Marsabit, Lazima Dumna. That means we're going to come. We have to go to Marsabit. There's so many different things to do, um, uh, Madam P.S. Mm. And I like that you did mention Watamu. There were so many different, you know, just things that you can involve yourself with when you go to Watamu. And for those who did already, um, you know, join in and and they have shared their experiences as we've seen and also received an, a, an award, a small trophy as part of, you know, recognizing their efforts to make sure that we are continuously selling the magic that is here in Kenya. What next, Dr. Betty? What next for the experiences that have already been enlisted so far mm -hmm. as part of the collection? Mm -hmm. So the experiences that have been enlisted so far, 44 experiences, are a cumulative collection of experiences that we want to encourage our private sector to continue to enlist in. So um, this is not uh, a one-time wonder, and being part of uh, a previous year collection doesn't void you from continuing to be uh, part of the Magical Kenya uh, Signature Experience. This is a collection of experiences that we want to build on and will be the cornerstone of how it is that we market the destination because they will be now our unique selling proposition which gives us that edge that we're always looking for. Yes. And you know what I love so much about all of these experiences is that they're all being sold by Kenyans. Living, you know, just going on their holiday, whether they're cycling or whether they're um, walking, whether it's yoga, as you enjoy that sunset in Watamu, these are all experiences by by you and I, by Kenyans. Now, if you were with us earlier on, thank you so much for still being with us. I'm so glad that you're here because we are going on a safari like no other. And like I said, if you just started watching, there are so many amazing magical videos that you missed, but we'll try and play them all right at the end. Now, tucked in the valley between the lofty slopes of Mount Kenya and the peaks of the Aberdare Mountains is the Solio Conservancy and Lodge, Kenya's oldest private rhino sanctuary, home to considerable herds of the black and white rhino, and also present on the property is an abundance of other wildlife. It is only here that um, you can enjoy uninhibited close-up views of wildlife and the landscape, of course, from atop specially designed vehicles that allow for rooftop seating, can you imagine, and spectacular 360 degree views. If you don't believe me, well, have a look. Oh, wow, those rhinos were up close. And you know, when you go on safari, actually, it's really tricky to see a rhino. Out of all of the other animals, it's usually very difficult. But right there, you're having breakfast while looking at it right there. Now, if you thought that, that was impressive, Northern Kenya is a melting pot of rich cultures and truly breathtaking landscapes. It is perfect for those of you who want an alternative adventure, you know, such as traveling on a camel. A camel safari is the ideal means of of traveling through northern Kenyan lands. Courtesy of Karisia Walking Safaris, you can escape the constraints of vehicles, crowds, and the city life to lose yourself in the wild, where trains of camels are the only traffic 
for miles. Every day is so unique and every safari is custom designed to suit your interests and your needs. How different is this? Let's have a look. Usually my colleagues are on the trend, make fun of me and say that I came to Nairobi on a camel. It's true, it's true. But you can try, try the camel safari. Very interesting. And again, something different. Now, while we're still on safaris, you could experience a completely different one. Traveling the length and breadth of Laikipia in hired vintage Land Rover vehicles that explorers get to drive themselves. These classic cars from Safari Series make for an exciting means of transport on off-road adventures within the nearby game parks. Be a safari guide of your own. I think, you know, there's a first time for everything and this could be the first time that you are your own guide. That is a wonderful option. When we go out of town, we hire cars. But when you go on, on safari, you rarely hire a car because, well, you have a guide. This one, though, it gives you the opportunity to see all of these conservancies in a way that you have never before. Imagine going and driving with your friends and then you go and have a sundowner somewhere atop a hill and just, you know, talk about life and enjoy your holiday. Well, at the break of dawn, guests of the Borana Conservancy in Lewa can join the noble efforts of wildlife conservation by accompanying a team of trained rangers to track and check on the black and white rhino populations on the vast 32,000 acre property by the way which is also home to the rest of the big five this immersive experience provides a very special opportunity to learn firsthand about conservation and also the work that goes into keeping our rhinos safe this this is travel with a, a purpose Traveling with a purpose, that's, that's what that is. Now, a few hours east of Laikipia, I would like to invite you to indulge in the fascinating history of Meru, courtesy of the Elewana Collection. Made famous by Born Free, the best-selling novel and award-winning movie recounting the lives of George and Joy Adamson and Elsa the Lioness in Meru National Park. A story that made this park the stuff of Hollywood legends. Visit some of the iconic sites, George's Spool, where George Adamson often took Elsa the Lioness for her afternoon walk. The original campsite, where the lioness were raised and released back into the wild and Elsa's grave the feline that started it all enjoy the beauty of the park and its wildlife marvel at the spectacular views the smells and the colors and just delve into the past Elsa's Cop J within the Meru Conservancy. It's a boutique hotel, so if you really value your privacy, that is somewhere that you have to opt for. Wonderful for families. It's a magical place to get away for that, you know, just that romantic weekend um, or week. Now, as we were watching all of those, we talked about the Elewana um, uh, collection with the PS. Which one do you prefer? Is it Elsa's Cop J or is it their Diani boutique hotel? 
Of course, Elsa. <laughs> oh, Elsa. <laughs> Elsa. It, it, it really is. It's so unique, you know, in, 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 the, in the structure, the architecture. I love how they've preserved most of, you know, the history that comes with uh, Elsa's Kopje and the mm. story that, you know, has been written about the place, the number mm. of people who have toured and traveled mm. to um, Elsa's Kopje. For the people who are looking forward to travel in 2021, Dr. Betty, what mm -hmm. can they look forward to? So in 2021, first of all, you can start off with the 44 signature experiences yes. that we have now unveiled. And um, uh, before you get through those 44, as I mentioned, we will continue to uh, encourage our private sector to uh, enlist some more signature experiences because this has now become an annual event. And uh, you can see that um, if you then look at the 44 experiences we already have, which are very diverse in, in, in different areas of interest, um, you'll be spoiled for choice. So at least for the rest of 2021, you can count on the 44 signature experiences. Yes. Yeah. Um, and for the people who had not tuned in before, maybe they were stuck in traffic on their way home, um, uh, P.S. Honorable Safina, Safina, maybe you can tell people why these experiences are important to begin with. Well, the, the extremely important because uh, as we said from the very beginning is that they they unveil the Kenya that people don't know uh, mm -hmm. exists uh, beyond uh, safari and beach is that there is much more you can enjoy even in those traditional settings um, and uh, uh, I can, say, I can say that the private sector it has really embraced this because uh, from 15 to 29 experiences, that is a 100% growth. So it means, therefore, the acceptance uh, is higher. And um, then, of course, uh, we have a better value year in, year out. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I like that you talked about value. Uh, this is truly the year that I hope many of us, myself included, will get to um, extensively travel this beautiful country and get to see some of these destinations. Now, right now, we're about to take a look at our next video, Black Rhino Tracking. We are just, you know, we're back to Samburu, where we started where the unspoiled landscapes are a thing of true beauty to behold. Discover the secrets of Kenya's great unspoiled northern frontier by tracking the black rhino in the wild on foot through the Sera Community Conservancy. Now guided by an expert guide and ranger, it is a chance for true adventure, but it is also an opportunity for you as a guest to actively contribute to the protection of this iconic species. On the property is Saruni Rhino Lodge, a trio of rustic cottages that set along a dry riverbed to accommodate the traveler that's yourself after a long day out. Now, we also want you to experience an intimate, one-of-a-kind family vacation at El Karama Lodge, the ultimate safari for adults and children alike. Located on 14,000 acres in the heart of Laikipia, it features diverse landscapes, thriving biodiversity, and lots of wildlife. Guests have their pick of eight private cottages and can expect an intimate getaway with a host of activities such as game drives, walking tours, fly camping, as we saw before, and horse riding. Kids will love the bush school the first wildlife kids club of its kind it is dedicated to learning and fun and of course family adventures all in wild spaces Karama experiences. If you have kids, it's you 
usually a bit stressful to travel with them because you have to plan their itinerary. You have to say this is what they're doing in the morning and in the afternoon. And if you have a bush school like that where they get to learn and have fun, it gives you the chance to relax and enjoy your holiday. So plans, plans, plans. Now elsewhere in our great nation, deep within the world famous Masai Mara um, Game Reserve is a warrior academy where travelers can spend a day with fearless Masai Moran and learn about their lives, their traditions, their dances, their folklore, and partake of their food. This cultural journey into the world of the Maasai, brought to you by the Saruni Mara Lodge, is specially designed for families and, of course, small groups. It is a chance for you to understand the rich culture of these indigenous people firsthand and see Kenya for the culturally rich and diverse nation that it is. That's something I definitely want to try out. I've always wanted to jump and see how high I could jump. If they could try and show me, maybe train, maybe I could try learn. A few days would do the trick. A few days would do the trick. Now, to the northwest of Migori Town, in the Lake Victoria Basin, lies a massive, ancient, dry stone walled complex that dates back to the 16th century. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is in the custody of the National Museums of Kenya and is of immense historical value. Thimlich Ohinga is an exceptional testimony of settlement patterns and a way of life of the early inhabitants of Nyanza. It is a must-see for the historically and anthropo anthropologically, did I say that right, inclined. If you're all about history, this is where you need to visit. If archaeology fascinates you, anthropology, and if you are a lover of history, this is a must-see destination for you. Now, do you ever yearn for a simpler life? I mean, sometimes we all do, don't we? You know, away from the hustle and bustle of the city, even just for a little while. Well, if you do, you can reconnect with nature and the farm life in a rural setting at Olepangi, set on the foothills of Mount Kenya. This little farm, it offers quiet tranquility, stunning views of Kenya's most recognizable mountain. And a memorable stay at Olepangi House. You as a guest may occupy their, you know, your time with horse riding, with uh, croquet, with exploring, walking trails and talking in the rich local and taking in the rich local culture. Sorry. Now it's all about experiencing immersing, um, immersive experiences when you travel to all of these places. And this is one of those places you do just that. I initially saw that video online and thought, wow, how is that something that, you know, we haven't done before? You know, you want to go to the farm, as Opia said, you want to learn how to milk that cow or milk or milk that camel. <laughs> now, as you look, um, as you were watching Dr. Betty, the, that collection and seeing all of these different places, what comes to mind? So what comes to mind is what I started off with by saying at the beginning, there's something for everybody. So there's the luxurious um, uh, sort of stay, there's adventure, there's culture, there's heritage, there's uh, water sports, there's uh, for the daring and, and a bit more um, uh, uh, energetic, there's mountain climbing, but also there's just things that um, you take for granted. 
like milking a cow, going to the farm to collect some uh, vegetables that you then cook over lunch, and working through that whole process with people in a community. And that is an experience in itself. Yes. Which is a signature experience. Which is a signature experience. Yeah. Now, for those who are watching Dr. Betty and are wondering, all right, I think, I believe I have a signature experience. I yeah. want to share this. What are the steps? What do they do? How do they begin? How do they start? So all, all you need to do is just show an interest. We will, the, the signature experience, as I mentioned, is a continuous collection. So we, we, we have, um, uh, we call for entries. All you have to do is fill in the pre-qualification form, which is about your business. So we get a good sense that you are a going concern as a business and you are, and we audit for the basic business um, requirements um, within our sector. Following that, we then uh, invite you to share your experience with us. And, and, and we hope that uh, that experience is actually a passion that you have and have been doing it as a going concern. And, and once this uh, experience is shared, we then have the desk audit. Um, and following the desk audit, we begin to uh, shortlist and then come and do a site audit. And in the site audit, audit is where we really interact with you and your experience. And, and you as the experience owner um, have the honors to, uh, you have the honors to, to actually just explain what your experience is to us and, and, and why you think it should be a signature experience. Uh, there's criteria that we provide and we also guide and mentor and give feedback in terms of how you can improve the experience if it doesn't pre-qualify or ways that you can um, uh, consider uh, making sure that the experience actually uh, gets into the collection. Mm. And then we work with you through it. And, and with any luck, you then um, get pre-qualified and selected as a signature experience. And you remain a signature experience. It yes. doesn't go away. No, it doesn't. Um, it's like when you get that ISO certification yeah. or, mm -hmm. you know, when you're recognized and unless, you know, things change and the experience is not up to par as it mm. was before, um, yeah. Dr. Betty, you can correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but it never goes away. Yes, it right? never goes away, yes. but you must keep the standard and we audit it. Yes. We do the mystery shopper because it's important for us as a destination marketing agency to, to support and to, and to be able to confidently um, uh, market these experiences because we actively market them on your behalf, uh, both locally and internationally. So yes. we have to make sure that they keep that standard that, keep, that makes them a signature experience. Yes. Yeah. How do you think, uh, P.S. Honorable Safina, how will these magical Kenya signature experiences change how we view traveling locally? One is that um, it makes it uh, a reality that uh, the tra travel is not about Mzungu. It's, a, it's about everybody who has a passion for traveling and to experience uh, you know, new, new things. Um, and therefore, for the domestic uh, traveler, uh, it's proof that there's something for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, if you notice that all our 29 uh, collections for this year, they are, they are, they are, they are unique. They are, they are small party they are, they are, and they are personalized. Mm -hmm. um, so you can, you can actually tailor the experience that you want. Um, regardless of how deep the pocket is or how shallow it is, mm -hmm. uh, how, how big the, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the party is, if you, you're solo, you, you, you want to go with colleagues, you want to go with family, there's something for everybody. So travel is not a Mzungu business. Mm. Travel is about you and I, just creating mm -hmm. time for us to connect with nature, to connect with, uh, mm -hmm. with, with the beauty of our country. Mm. Yeah. And the impact that it'll, ha it'll have for you just mm -hmm. mentally, you'll come back mm -hmm. motivated, ready mm -hmm. to work, it's it, it you relax if you go and you're cycling and then also you go and track some mm. rhinos and then also you go and immerse yourself and live with someone you know with a community mm. and then you come back to the city that is a proper break now right at the edge of the city of nairobi and on the banks of the Mbagathi river lies the quaint ololo farm and lodge now it offers a rare combination of a chance to enjoy wildlife sightings national park views and tours of an organic farm that boasts sustainable environmentally friendly techniques. If you've never seen anything like it, here it is.
Yes, in case you were thinking it, all of these places are right here in Kenya. And another one, the warmth of the Kenyan people shines through with an authentic Kenyan homestay experience made possible by Homestay Limited. Coupled with an immersive farm stay, you'll get to play farmer for the day if you've never, if you've thought about owning a farm and you're not sure if you want to take it on, this would be a place to uh, try and take part in weed farming, honey harvesting, sheep breeding, even a spice store. This is a remarkable opportunity to bond with Kenyan families as you share meals, you share jokes, you share stories farm knowledge and most importantly some new skills homestay experience. Now, within the rugged wilderness of the Borana Conservancy in northern Kenya, visitors are rewarded with sweeping panoramic views from Pride Rock, the famous landmark that inspired the visuals of the world-famous Disney film The Lion King. From this natural vantage point, a one-and-a-half-hour hike of 15-minute drive from Borana Lodge, one can enjoy a, a oneness with nature, yourself, stunning, picturesque landscapes. Look at that. And then the wildlife that have roamed the surrounding grasslands for centuries. From its panoramic perch overlooking Lake Naivasha, the Great Rift Valley Lodge offers sweeping views of the expansive Rift Valley below. Its world-class 18-hole golf course makes it an out-of-town haven for golfing aficionados, who routinely give way to the zebras, the impalas, the water bikes, numerous birds that have taken up residence on the course. It is a truly magical sporting and nature experience, an unlikely chance to golf. Kenya's leading golf resort. Hopefully, if you enjoy golfing, you can go and take a look at Lake Naivasha and just, you know, take a weekend or even a full week. Why not? You've worked hard enough. Now, as we've come to the end um, of the magical Kenya signature experiences as we unveiled the 2021-2022 collection. I'm in studio with the peers and the uh, CEO of KTB, Dr. Betty. And I'd like to ask for both of you to tell us your final comments and of course, invite Kenyans to experience magical Kenya. Dr. Betty, let me start with okay. you. So um, having seen 44 of our Kenyan, homemade Kenyan experiences, I'd like to invite all Kenyans and all our visitors from around the world to come to Kenya, come to magical Kenya and experience the magical Kenya signature experiences, which await you. Thank you. Honorable Safina. Indeed, it's, it's, it's magic, 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 magic through and through. Um, in every corner of Kenya, there is some magic waiting for you. And we have people who have put money and effort into making that experience worth your visit. Everybody welcome to Kenya and experience the magic. And experience the magic. I got that magic in me. That's Magical <laughs> Kenya. And I really hope that tonight, this evening, courtesy of Magical Kenya, we had the opportunity to show you locations that you had never seen before. To make you think about experiences that you have never thought of trying 
before. And hopefully your 2021 will be just as magical as this beautiful country. My name is Amina Abdi Rabah. Thank you so very much for keeping it engaging. For the tweets that we were getting at Magical Kenya, at NTV Kenya, via that hashtag Magical Kenya Signature Experiences. If you want to take a look at all of the 46 experiences, the signature experiences are all available on www.magicalkenya forward slash mkse www.magicalkenya forward slash um, magicalkenya.com forward slash mkse all right so we're going to leave all of that information on our ntv kenya twitter page so you can go ahead follow us as you also follow magical kenya and who knows your experience could be a signature experience that we will be unveiling a year from now part of the 2022 2023 collection thank you so much for watching and for those of you who missed out on all of the incredible videos that we showed before lucky for you we're going to compile all of them and play them right now now, have yourself a wonderful evening and God bless Magical Kenya. Good night. the new Hapik bathroom cleaner. Compared to ordinary detergents, its thick formulation gives you superior cleaning and kills 99.9% .9 of germs and viruses all around the bathroom. Blue for the toilet and red for the bathroom. <laughs> when I open my eyes, I see Beauty you can't believe, oh mama, no place I'd rather be I'm a CK, yeah Do me and me, I'm not from my way Nothing better, see who not better And the sunshine over you, my love
Your sounds heal my soul Nothing better